Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's LJ. And with more trading than the stock exchange floor, more gifts than Santa's toy bag, and more swapping than backstage at a KISS concert, it's time for another episode of Music in the Mail. Dig it. It is time for another knife-assisted episode of Music in the Mail. Starting with a package from the guy that was the star of our last episode of Music in the Mail. And that is SMF Captain Howdy, a.k.a. John, a.k.a. The Cap. Right there, VCLT from The Cap. Now, John did let me know that another package was in route. And I almost held off on waiting until both were here and just filming them both at one go. But there was a week between them and there was no way I was going to have that. So what's in here, I had no idea. And something he may have mentioned at some point down the road, but who can remember? I mean, come on, in the throes of day-to-day -day life, all I can say is like always, and like anyone else, it's an absolute blast trading and swapping records with John. Absolutely fantastic. So let's grab our knife and see what's in here. Okay, we have a stiffener. <laughs> that joke never gets old. So I can't really see what's underneath. So let's pull one at a time. Alright, very cool. First up, this is a record called Round One by a band called Scrubble O'Kane. I have to take this opportunity to interject and provide an apology on behalf of myself as an American to the Canadian 70s rock gods. Why? The amount of rock bands, rock solid, legendary rock bands that came out of Canada in the 70s is insane. The attention that we Americans paid to them in the 70s is pathetic, absolutely unjust. We picked up on Rush, we picked up on Bachman Turner Overdrive and Triumph a little later, but this huge underbelly of Canadian rock bands from the 70s that we criminally ignored is off the charts and Scrubble O'Kane is one of them. Now finding these records here in the US in the wild, good luck y'all, just doesn't happen. Now, it's only through Forgiving Canadians, such as John, that were able to obtain copies of records like Scrubble O'Kane. Scrubble O'Kane, this has Jim Kale on bass, and I know Jim Kale is from the Guess Who, so he would have just left the Guess Who. And the band, I believe, was formed by Paul Dean. And Paul Dean would go on years after this, this is 73, I believe, to form Loverboy. So, way before that insanely difficult to find hold on these actually just dropped out i didn't realize they were in the sleeve and these are promotional photos of the band wow check that out absolutely fantastic and there's another one here just dynamite dynamite condition promo copies or promo photos and this just looks like it's never been played it's on the Dynaflex label, and Dynaflex, they tanked that division of RCA before very long. And this just looks like it's in gorgeous shape. Nothing but a few sleeve marks, and nothing that won't play beautifully. An absolutely amazing addition to the Canadian rock collection. And again, something that you just can't find here in the States. Now what else is in here? Let's see. <clears throat> oh, John. <laughs> oh, you did not have to do this. And you even asked about this one too. What is the only KISS record that you don't have, or a KISS record you don't have? And there really was only one, and it is Carnival of Souls. And John showed this in a recent video, and he had said he had picked it up. Now, when talking about any KISS records that I didn't have, again, Carnival of Souls is the only one that came up. And it's a record that I, I was pretty upfront, and I told him I'm in no rush to get it. To add it would be cool, but in a rush, not so much. It's never been my favorite KISS record. But definitely one that I would have jumped at the opportunity at the right price to add to the collection. And now, thanks to John, here it is. And this is a 2014 reissue, and I'm definitely excited to, to throw this down on the turntable. And I'm wondering if it's one of those, maybe a spin in and on vinyl will change it kind of thing. Rain, I believe it is, has always been my favorite tune from this. Yeah, it's track two on side one. That's how long it's been since I've listened to this. It just turned me off at the time, but you know, it is what it is. What do you think of this album? Do you dig it? I'm stoked to have it in the collection. John, thank you so much. That is absolutely fantastic. And as if it were needed, there is another LP in here. And let's see what it... Oh, John, you did not. Part of the same discussion. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Wow. So part of the same discussion. What Kiss Records do and don't you have? Carnival of Souls is a studio release. And there was one other album that I was missing. And it's a comp. And it is. You wanted the best. You got the best. And absolutely. Wow. John, I just, I don't even know what to say. This is amazing. I've stumbled on this once. Once over the years. And it was absolutely trashed trashed in a shop and I think they wanted 40 or 45 bucks for it. There was no way. The cover had been folded in half. I didn't even have the heart to look at the records or to bother. But this is just absolutely amazing. I'm just, I'm speechless. It's a two LP set and just collects amazing songs. And I have this on cassette. I have it on CD. Let's take a look at the custom labels. John, I'm, I'm speechless. This is just over the top, way too generous. There's a custom label on side one. And it's the same on both records, and there is side two. John, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, again, absolutely speechless. I have a package or a stack of records sitting here that need to be packed up and sent back to you based on our last discussion, but I'm just beside myself. This does not show up every day. John, thank you so much. What an absolutely fantastic, fantastic, selfless as always package. Folks, feel free to scoot on over. Check out John's channel. And John, thank you again, brother. Really, thank you. Now next up is a package from another cat that it's an absolute blast to trade with. And it's a cat that a package, return package, left destined for Switzerland this morning for him. And that cat is Bruno Ender Lee. We've talked about Bruno before, and we've done some music in the mail openings from Bruno in the past, and there's a link to Bruno's channel below. Synth space rock pioneer, vinyl collector extraordinaire, Bruno Ender Lee. Get on over and check Bruno out. Like many packages from Bruno, this one is taped. Why don't we do one of those speedy kind of opening things? That may very well be the hardest I've ever worked to get into a package. Amazon third party resellers, retailers all over the world, take packaging notes from Bruno and Early. Now it appears what's in here is a whole group of CDs, and it looks like about eight of them to be exact. Oh wow, oh that's awesome. So this looks like a whole stack of Eloy CDs. This is Eloy's Ocean. It's a band that in discussions back and forth via email, Bruno introduced me to. He had shown me a picture of his Eloy collection and I got curious enough to go look. This was the album, the very first LP that Bruno sent me as well and I was just blown away. Here is a copy of Eloy Live. I've never heard this album. I can't wait to check it out. Oh, okay, Silent Cries and Mighty Echoes. This is one that Bruno had sent on vinyl as well. Eloy Performance, I believe this is from 83. So Eloy is starting to take on a bit of a different uh, kind of early 80s synth sound. Oh, uh, cool, here's a copy of Planets from 1981. Oh, this is such a beautiful package. Wow, wow. Okay, time to turn. If you caught my last video, this is what was spinning in the background. This is from 1982. Colors, also from uh, 1980. <laughs> and Eloy's Metromania from 1984. What another absolutely fantastic 80s synth, synth prog, synth proggy synth album. You know, I don't normally dig a whole heck of a lot of prog, but Eloy is a band that just, they grabbed me and they didn't let go. Bruno, thank you so much. Folks, links to both channels are below. Use them, go, explore. Check these people out if you haven't already. Click, click, subscribe, subscribe. Go check them out, go. There's just worlds of greatness waiting for you over there. Guys, John Bruno, thank you so much. Everyone else, feel free to leave a comment if you have one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's LJ, and with more trading than the New York Shark Ship, Shark, yeah. <laughs>